So Remake Learning Days will be May 9th through 18th in 2019. We're very excited to announce these days. Um, May 9th is a Thursday. And so Remake Learning Days will span two Saturdays, which we found very helpful for past event hosts. They really enjoyed having Saturday uh, open houses and events for families. So we will have two Saturdays over the span of May 9th through the 18th. For the fourth year in a row, Remake Learning Days will take place throughout Southwestern Pennsylvania and West Virginia. And for the first time, a Remake Learning Days Across America campaign will launch to coincide with these May 9 through 18 dates. Some highlights about Remake Learning Days. Again, there are some veterans who are tuning in and some who are new to Remake Learning Days. So let me just highlight what we've seen um, in this region after three years of Remake Learning Days. Since 2016, we've had approximately 80,000 parents, caregivers, youth, and educators attend hundreds of events across southwestern Pennsylvania and throughout West Virginia. In the Pittsburgh region, Remake Learning Days is creating a cultural shift that places a high emphasis on creative, hands-on learning. Through our survey, results, we can show that parent familiarity with STEAM learning has increased by statistically significant levels since 2016. And due to the success of our regional campaign, Remake Learning Days Across America is launching in 2019 in regions like Chicago, Chattanooga, Eastern Pennsylvania, Eastern Kentucky, and the North Carolina Triangle region. So who can host a Remake Learning Days event? We say that doors are open anywhere and everywhere. Innovative learning and teaching is happening. So some recommendations are arts centers, early child care development centers, libraries, museums, out of school time centers, parks, rec centers, retail stores, schools, school districts, science labs, tech companies, universities, and more. Um, a great organization called Animal Friends held a Remake Learning Days event this past May in the Pittsburgh region, uh, encouraging youth to come out and make and create sew uh, toys for the animals. So that was brilliant and wonderful and a really great and new Remake Learning Days event that we saw this May. We have sponsors who have opened their doors for Remake Learning Days events, one being Shell Games, a tech company. So just about anyone can hold a Remake Learning Days event. What makes for a great Remake Learning Days event? A lot of things, a lot of things coming together um, and aligning. Those being the date, so aligning with the Remake Learning Days campaign dates of May 9th through the 18th. Time, this is choosing your organization's best time of day or day of the week to engage youth, family, and educators. Location, selecting an accessible and large enough space to accommodate attendees. Theme, focusing your event on arts, maker, outdoor learning, science, technology, youth voice, and professional development. Programming, we really encourage, encourage your event to offer engaging, age-appropriate, family-appropriate, 21st century, future-forward, hands-on learning experiences. Really showing families what education looks like now and preparing youth and families for the jobs of the future. Hospitality. We really encourage free at, or low cost admission for your event. And serving healthy snacks goes a long way. Um, we hear from a lot of families that it's great that they can 
stop or drop in for a Remake Learning Days event and also uh, enjoy some snacks and nourishment. And registration. Uh, you're encouraged to track your own event registration so you feel comfortable knowing how many people will be in attendance. Maybe you have five families in attendance. Maybe you have 200. So make sure you can track your registration by using show clicks or Eventbrite um, or a method that works for your organization. I'll just show some past Remake Learning Days events so you can have a visual and see the titles and the locations of events that took place this past May in the Pittsburgh region. Maker Mixer at one of the YMCA's. Rock Climbing Wall, part of our outdoor learning events by Venture Outdoors at a rec center. Art and Nature Together at the Frick Pittsburgh Art Museum. Word, The Breakdown, hosted by One Hood Media, and this was inside a theater, Glitterbox Theater. The Factory Teen Takeover, hosted and at the Andy Warhol Museum. And Tween Scene, an event at the Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh. And as I mentioned earlier, one of our sponsors for Remake Learning Days of 2018 was Shell Games. They opened their studio and really had an open house. And this is where they saw hundreds of families come through to learn about the tech field and game making. What do successful Remake Learning Days event hosts do? Well, they submit their Remake Learning Days events to the Remake Learning Days website. They market their events to youth, families, communities, educators, and legislators. They track attendance at their RLD events. They survey attendees about their experience. And these surveys we do provide from Remake Learning. And they continue relationships with attendees after Remake Learning Days is over. And that's a very important piece. Remake Learning Days will come in May, but you're gonna have interactions, you know, establish a relationship with these families that can last throughout the summer months and into the fall and the whole school year. So this is a, an abbreviated Remake Learning Days timeline to just give you the overall picture. From now until the beginning of December, we encourage you to start planning your Remake Learning Days event. Start meeting with your colleagues, meeting with your coworkers, and figure out, hey, what can we do in May to showcase what exciting teaching and learning are happening in our space? Or who can we align with? What organizations can we partner with to showcase this amazing learning? So start talking, start meeting, start collaborating now through December. In December, when you go to the Remake Learning Days website, you will be able to submit your event or events, plural, to the website. And we ask that you do that by February 1st of 2019. So you'll have about two months, eight weeks to submit events to the website, to go back to the website and edit your event, 
if something has changed. And then it's a really big March through May campaign. It's a marketing campaign. Really getting the word out to your own community and beyond. And then May 9th through 18th, again, is when we will have Remake Learning Days in the Pittsburgh region, so throughout Southwestern PA and in West Virginia. And we encourage the Remake Learning Days Across America campaign to align with these dates. There will be future Remake Learning Days webinars. We are attempting to do one the first Thursday of each month. I believe in January, we are skipping the first Thursday and going to the second Thursday. But otherwise, um, we are featuring topics now through June. So you can see that it's important next month to keep spreading the word about Remake Learning Days. In December, to submit your event to the website. We'll remind you again in January about submitting your event to the website and what that looks like. In February, we'll talk about marketing and social media for your event, how to get the most out of your marketing, social media, um, emails newsletters, etc. We'll talk in March about surveys. I mentioned that we create a survey here and we share that to all event hosts. And that survey is for parent attendees or caregiver attendees and for youth. So two different surveys. And then we do survey the event hosts themselves. So we'll talk through that in March. April, we'd love to hear from you event hosts and what you're most excited about, um, what you're looking forward to for Remake Learning Days. And May, we'll talk about the countdown to Remake Learning Days. It's a little bit earlier this year than it has been in past years. So it starts Thursday, May 9th. So we'll talk about that at the top of May. And then we'll recap in June and talk about the experiences, um, hits, misses, what we want to improve upon, and that's it. So please keep coming back for more information. And what we will do is send out a link to this webinar that can be shared with those who were not able to make this call. Um, I know we do have folks on the line from the other five regions that we mentioned. And they're right now thinking, who are the event hosts going to be in Chattanooga, Tennessee? Who are event hosts going to be in Chicago? So this is a great opportunity to take this webinar and share that with event hosts and can urge them to uh, tune in on November 1st. And if you do have questions, please direct them to me. I'm Dory Taylor, the producer for Remake Learning Days. And Yuling Chang is our communications director. We are full of uh, information and data and can share with you um, what we've experienced over the past three years. And just know that we have uh, not heard a bad word from event hosts who have hosted events. Um, you know, maybe some concerned that, oh, we only got 20 attendees. 20 attendees is great. It's better than zero. So um, we say any event that is pulled off and held is a successful event. 